everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Liz. So today's reading is very special. We are looking at fresh new energy that's coming in. Okay, so this is about fresh changes or different things that are happening. Kind of went with the citrus theme as you can see here. And today's reading is really heavily focused on charms. In these lemons, there are some cards as well though. There's some tarot and oracle. You can kind of see what's in here that might help you choose as well, but you'll see what the messages are once we dive into the reading. Yeah, I found these little lemons and sort of inspired uh, this reading. I've used little things like this before for charms like kinder eggs and little stockings at Christmas time. So if you like this kind of reading, definitely let me know. But yeah, I was very inspired. I keep seeing lemons everywhere. Basically, I keep seeing lemons everywhere I go. Even as I look right now, I've got this little envelope with lemons and lemon decor and lemon everything. So anyways, when I saw these, I thought, okay, let's let's <laughs> lean into this energy and see what kind of fresh new energy is coming in. So to help you select with our citrus theme, we have three cards here. So I'll show you what we have and then I'll show you the charm tray. We really focused on charms today, but we did use the pendulum and the letters as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, so let me show you what we have here. So for group one, we have the lemon lime combo with the luck card. And this is number 31. So if you like lemon lime, then this might be your group. Group two, we have lemon again. So you've got two lemons with this. If you really like lemon, or if you feel drawn to this lemon energy, this might be your group. The keyword is cleansing, and the number is 25. And finally, for group three, we have orange with the keyword energy and the number 28. So if you like lemon and orange, and this is your group. And again, you don't have to choose based on what fruit you like. You could just choose what you feel drawn to today or the lemon you feel drawn to. I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up here of the cards so you can get a closer look. We'll take a nice deep breath together to help you select. Take your time. There's no rush. I just want to remind you before we do that, though, that these readings are for entertainment. They're supposed to be fun. I hope that there is a message that resonates for you, but always use your own judgment and intuition. If the message doesn't feel like it's for you, then that's okay. It could be for someone else. Uh, but again, always trust your own judgment first. And I hope that there is a reading for you today that resonates. So let's take a nice deep breath and you can take your time and select the group that feels right for you. And I don't know if I already mentioned it, but before we dive into the groups, I did include you in the preparation of the lemons. Uh, so you could be included in that. I used this little basket today just because I had added so many cards and things. So you can watch that preparation of each of the lemons uh, before we dive into the actual groups. But yeah, very interesting info today. I'll show you the charm tray that I'm using. So these are the four specific categories that I wanted today. We've got work, career, and finances, wellness and self, love and relationships, and passion and adventure. So we're going to find out what fresh energy is coming into these categories. So yeah, let me know if you enjoy the charm-focused reading. We can definitely do more. And yeah, let's dive in. I'll put the timestamps below. I really hope you enjoy this. If you enjoy me or my readings, you can definitely check out my Patreon page. That's linked below. And uh, yeah, there's readings every single week as well as some bonus content. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my channel as well. All of that really does help. Share with a friend. And make sure you hit the notification bell as a lot of people aren't getting as many notifications, I've been told. So if you don't hit the notification bell, you might not be alerted to when I post new videos. So if you want to hear about new videos as soon as they're posted, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And then they made it even more difficult because now you have to go click all if you want to see notifications. So if there's... Uh, a YouTuber or a channel that you haven't been getting notifications from, uh, that's one thing to consider. You can go to the alerts and make sure you hit all under the bell icon. So just a note. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this. I really hope you enjoy. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what fruit you chose. We will start with group number one. All right, so let's prepare the lemons. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. Let's prepare our lemons. Basically, I've got these little containers. I want to fill them with the charms and mini cards and all sorts of things in here there's a few numbers in there i've got additional numbers as well but basically i'm just going to uh i had to put everything in here so it would fit i'll be still using my gold charm bowl don't worry but yeah just for now so what i'm going to do let's do this in a way i don't want to be able to see what i'm scooping up and i want it to be a surprise for you too so what i'll do is i'll give this a good 
shuffle. Okay, so first we're going to get the lemon for group one. So let me scoop this up. And scoop up as much as it will hold. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this one's very full, but that's what I want. I wanted lots of info here. So fresh energy for group number one, right in here. And you'll be able to see a closer view of everything in the intro as well, if you haven't watched that yet. All right, let's work on the lemon group. All right. All right, same thing. I'm not looking. I, know you, I don't think you can see yet. No, you can't see. So we'll scoop as many as we can fit in. <laughs> let a few out in that one just because that's pretty full there we go now we can close it okay group <laughs> two jam-packed full of information these lemons will be there we go so that's group two all right and finally let's prepare group three with the orange Same thing. Okay. Now this one didn't get really any tarot cards. Uh, I might want to scoop a bit more into here. I gave this a very good shuffle. Group three. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to... Okay, there we go. So let's see what we have here for group three. I just want to close this up. I don't want to take any out. I want to make this... Hmm. This one might be a little bit too full too. That's okay. We're going to make it work. We just need to be creative here. Ooh, I might have to let a couple out. Let's see. There we go. There we go. What's meant to come out will come out in your message. So that's group three. Okay, so I'm going to film the intro. Or maybe I'll do that at the very end. But either way, if you've decided to watch this, maybe this helped you make up your mind. So we're looking at fresh energy or new changes coming in for you in the following categories, work, career, finances, wellness, and self, love and relationships, passion and adventure. So let's find out. We'll start with group number one. All right, group one. So we are going to cast your charms that we put into the lemon. If you'd like to watch uh, the process of filling up the lemon, you can watch that before we jump into the groups. But yeah, let's dive in. I'm just gonna kind of cast this intuitively. I'm just gonna open up the lemon and let everything fall into which category it applies to. I also do want to redo this card as well. So let's see what we have here. All right. Hmm. Interesting. So I'll read you the card, but I just kind of want to look at what we have here. This kind of feels like it's... The wrist kind of feels like it belongs in the middle. Hmm. Okay, you've got forgiveness. Kind of... All right, let's see. First, I'll read you the luck card. All right, so it says, you may find that you are right in the middle of a situation at present or that something is stuck in circles. And this could definitely, I don't know why I added definitely. It doesn't say definitely. Anyways, 
This could be caused by overreactions or too much interference. It's time to let things progress at their own pace. Limes bring luck with them, so ooh, so take a chance and be ready for the ups and downs this energy brings, but know that time is on your side. Don't overplan and be open to letting complexities unravel on their own. Okay, very interesting group one. So let's start here with the work, career, and finances. You've got the Ace of Swords. You've got balance. And this is all about new things that are coming into each of these categories over the next few weeks. You've got simplicity and balance. You've got Virgo. This is kind of in the middle, so I think this is kind of affecting both things. This is kind of nice to see. You've got the door. You've got two charms, well, two items here that rep represent risk or taking a chance. And that's exactly what the Lime card just said. Because you've got the little slot machine here. You also have risk. You've got go for a walk. You've got the mask. Heads up. Virgo. Okay, let me see here. <clears throat> okay. So the first thing that's coming through, I just want to say, um, and then I'll kind of dive into each of the charms. The first thing that's coming through, though, is you need to re you need to try and work on a work-life balance, okay? I feel like... There's something about not revealing too much about yourself at work. Now, this could be for several reasons. It could be because you're just trying to avoid workplace gossip. It could mean that you just don't feel like, you know, uh, fully revealing everything about your life uh, at work. But yeah, there's sort of a feeling of mystery. This could also be encouraging you to keep some aspects of your finance or career private or personal uh, you could have something you're sort of mysteriously working on especially with the ace of swords here it could be like an idea that you're working on kind of behind the scenes with the closed door here but yeah you seem to be maintaining a really great work-life balance or ma maintaining a better balance at work whatever that means for you you could find that in the next coming weeks two months that there is a better work balance or career balance in your life you could also be balancing your finances as well, okay? So with the word balance and finances, you could be finding a better balance with with your finances, finding out what works for you, creating a budget that you're able to stick to that's kind of realistic and something you can stay consistent with. So this seems to be having really positive effects. I think you're sort of having some sort of breakthrough with this Ace of Swords when it comes to work, career, finances. Again, this could be like a career idea or something like that. This could have to do with an opportunity, some door that's available to you. Usually doors represent opportunities that are available to you or opportunities waiting for you. New phases. You could be switching jobs over the next few weeks, opening up a new door to some sort of new career. You also have simplicity. So this kind of really does connect nicely with balance because I think you're trying to keep things simple. If this has to do with a work idea or a career idea, business idea, I'm going to say that keeping it simple is best. Don't overcomplicate it. Even this said, I think it exactly said, what did it, sorry, I can't remember exactly how it phrased it, but it's number 31, let me, okay, too much interference, okay, so something is stuck in circles, this could be caused by overreactions or too much interference, it's time to let things progress at their own pace. I also like how it says limes bring luck with them, so take a chance and be ready for the ups and downs this energy brings, but know that time is on your side. So when it comes to work, career, and finances, time is on your side, but I see you taking a chance here with the little slot machine. You're taking some sort of gamble or some sort of thing that you view as like, this could be really worthwhile. I'm going to take a chance with this, okay? So I'm kind of seeing that with the Ace of Swords as like a breakthrough or an idea that you feel like you want to take a chance with. This could also just represent luck or windfalls of some kind. It could be telling you to uh, keep things simple if that does happen. It talked about not interfering too much in a situation. That could also go into simplicity, like not overcomplicating things or trying to get too involved with something that's kind of progressing fine. It did talk about being ready for some ups and downs. It says, don't over plan and be open to letting complexities unravel on their own. Don't over plan. I kind of feel like your, your work mantra or work kind of thing that you're saying to yourself is less is more. Okay. Less information seems to be more, less details, less complexity seem to be working in your favor. 
You also have the pineapple. This can talk about friends or family. This can also just be a sign of luck and prosperity and abundance as well. So a lot of abundance here in the work, career, and finances. It's telling you to pay attention though. Heads up, pay attention to something. Be aware of possibly some opportunity coming in. You also have go for a walk. I think there is a situation at work where you're being encouraged to kind of step away from it. Uh, be a little bit mysterious. Not everyone needs to know everything that you're doing or everything about you. I would really try and keep that work-life balance uh, and a little bit of like separation between your love, relationships, personal life, and work, career, and finances. Okay, so let's move into the wellness and self category. So this just has to do with you, your well-being, uh, you know, things that you do for yourself. You've got the tree here. So this is a symbol of groundedness. This can have to do with like going with the flow, kind of like our luck card talked about. So that's why that's coming through. So it could be that there's a lot going on, but you're remaining grounded right now, maybe through like meditation or different things that you do for yourself, yoga, things like that. But you seem to be very grounded, planted firmly with something. I want to say too, it's making me think of family. I think that for wellness and yourself, some good things to do would be to be with family or people that you view as your family could be important too. The pretzel is making me think it's important for you. My friend, my friend uh, said I was... Uh, how, how did she phrase it? I can't remember what exactly she, she said, but she was kind of saying like you tend to kind of pretzel yourself into situations or relationships rather than finding ones that you just kind of naturally, like you, she said, basically you, you tend to kind of bend to fit into situations rather than finding situations that just, you know, feel like they suit you right now. It, it's kind of more or less what she was saying and she was correct. Um, so it could be saying to not bend too much or twist to kind of fit into a situation. You could be kind of twisting yourself into a situation. The dinosaur here is right in between work, career, finances, and wellness and self. And this can be about guardedness. I'm noticing the armor here of the dinosaur. So I think it's important to kind of protect yourself. I'm strongly getting something about just protect your privacy when it comes to work. Maintain that balance there. Uh, keep things simple, conversations simple, things like that for whatever reason. Of course, take what resonates. You've got the fish here. This can talk about two going with the flow, which makes sense with our message. But this too also reminds me of a salmon. I don't know if it is a salmon, but I always think of a salmon, which can talk about kind of going against the current or against the stream with something. It can also talk about returning to a certain place. In wellness and self, you've got forgiveness. It could be good for you to forgive somebody or forgive yourself. When you're ready, of course, I'm not telling you that's what you have to do, but because it's in this category, it could be actually a good thing to forgive someone. It could kind of relieve a little bit of stress off of your uh, shoulder in a certain way. Support, this can be talking about reaching out for support of some kind when it comes to wellness or, or self. Uh, it could also talk about feeling very sturdy. I'm getting lots about sturdiness, feeling very planted. So I feel like you're feeling very confident with yourself and your position over the next coming weeks. The sixth could be important, the sixth month. Uh, I'm recording this in the month of June, so that could be when you're watching it. But number six, the sixth of the month that you're watching or the next month that you're watching could be important. You've got three of wands, four of swords, and the fool. In this situation, I'm not going to take reversals just because of the cards um, being inside the lemon. Um, but yeah, you've got four of swords, so rest could be very important for you over the next few weeks. New energy could kind of come in from getting good sleep, rest, giving yourself time. This could also actually give you some motivation and help you be ready for new opportunities that are coming in. So good sleep could kind of give you fresh energy. You've also got the Fool card, so I'm seeing you feeling energized. Lots about risk here. You've got the Fool, risk, the slot machine. The Luck card talked about taking chances, so I feel like you're taking chances with certain things in the month that you feel are right for you, right? You could be taking little mini risks that you feel like will be uh, worth worth it or pay off in, in the future. This is really cool. This is about retreat. This is like a cabin in the woods. It can sometimes, to me, connect with the hermit card. Time for retreat, time for timeout, time for disconnect from, especially <laughs> the internet or our devices could be bringing in fresh energy when it comes to yourself or your wellness. So having some time to kind of unplug could be really, really important or it could be encouraging you to do that. And this could, again, kind of leave you feeling refreshed, feeling more energized, feeling ready to kind of like 
take on whatever's because again like you could be kind of burnt out or tired um so this could almost be even like a vacation or something like that a little bit of a retreat to kind of recharge yourself so that's what I'm getting there. But yeah, lots of stability. I think you're feeling very grounded or confident with yourself. Lots of confidence here. Uh, and confidence with the way things are going or what is coming your way. You seem very confident about different changes you're making. And also different changes you're making. So for, for example, if you're prioritizing sleep right now, it could indicate that you're seeing benefits from this rather quickly, okay? You're seeing yourself have more energy in the day. Or you feel like things are just kind of... Um, you're having a positive impact. If you've got some sort of like wellness goal, you could be seeing fast results from that uh, that are really encouraging, you know, or something like that. So that's what I'm getting there. Right in the middle of the board, let's take a look at what we have here. We've got discernment and risk. Okay, so this is a really interesting combination because to me, this is saying like, you are discerning, you know, either way, this is a risk. You either risk staying in the same place, going back to where you came from, or you risk you know, trying something new. So I feel like you are taking risks. I like how this has the water with the current because it talked about ups and downs. Of course, with any risk, there's going to be ups and downs. Uh, but it, it also said you have time on your side. You could also have to be discerning about certain things over the month that affect all four categories. Love and relationships looks really good. Strength and loyalty here with the dog. So you're feeling the strength of a relationship. You're feeling specifically very loyal to someone, very committed to somebody your friendships as well could be very strong or strengthened in the month of or the month ahead or the, the next few weeks you're, you could find your relationships are quite strengthened you could be reconnecting with someone from your past specifically a friend this friend is someone you had a lot of fun with it's encouraging you to do fun kind of like childlike things with somebody okay so this could be with a relative or a friend or or someone you're in a relationship with kind of do things just for fun make time for fun this is really important when it comes to relationships this will bring in a fresh energy like make a date to go for ice cream or something like that these things will strengthen the relationship education and delight yeah delight is really making me think of having fun doing fun things uh, you could have a party that is a really uh, positive thing for a specific relationship or it could be encouraging you to be social as well. I see these angels around the cake, so it could be encouraging you to be social. There could be a party or an invite. It's saying, please go. <laughs> it's going to be a fun time. Uh, I, I'm seeing lots of fun. Lots about fun, enjoying the little moments, things like that. But yeah, strength is a really positive card to get in this category because it just means your relationships are being strengthened or your relationships are strong and solid. So that's really, really positive. Relationships seem really great. But also there's education and this could also be strengthening a relationship too. You could be doing relationship counseling or researching about relationships, learning more about communication or something like that. You know, reading books about relationships, attending, you know, therapy or couples counseling or something like that. You could be learning something with someone. You could be going to school with a friend to take a course or something or teaming up with a friend to learn more about something that you both want to like get into, you know, sewing lessons or, um, you know, a certain sport or something like that. So you could be learning something with a friend or with a partner, and this could be really having a positive strengthening effect as well. You've got the 12th. So the 12th could also be important as well. And a two. So as far as numbers, we've got a six, a two and a 12. So maybe write down those dates. So for passion and adventure, Scorpio, <laughs> what, else, what else do we have here? We've got, ooh, five of swords. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is kind of, I would say, the challenging category for you over the next few weeks because we have this card. Overall, everything actually looks pretty good. Lots of good things happening for you in the self category. Love and relationships are super solid. I think that's the highlight of the board today. But we've got passion and, and adventure. It seems like there's a situation you're better to just kind of walk away from. Uh, or you're feeling like something has been kind of overly competitive. It, it kind of maybe sucked the fun out of something. So you could be, and it could be tied to finances. So you could be kind of, uh, what I'm seeing is kind of bringing the creativity back into something. And that could help you as well. You could be getting into painting or certain creative passions as well in the month with this little paint palette. And this could actually have a positive uh, financial effect in the future, okay? This would be likely be something in the future. Uh, you could be 
doing home or house painting or something like that. Uh, even if this isn't for a career, this could be something you're spending money on in your own home. It's like redecorating your home, specifically getting painting walls, painting a room, redecorating, something like that with a little paint palette here. So yeah, painting could be something that you're interested in or redecorating the home. This could also talk about just stability, a feeling of stability when it comes to uh, a situation, when it comes to your passions. You know, there is a competitive edge to this, though. And this is usually, like, Five of Swords is kind of a no-win situation. It could be you're dealing with someone who has to win at all costs or has to be right. Uh, it's usually, again, a situation it's best to walk away from. Or it's asking you, okay, like, what is worth being right or what is worth winning? Because um, it might be kind of like an empty sort of, what's the word, empty... Oh, tell me in the comments. You know what I'm trying to say. But, like, it might not actually feel so good. Uh, it could be kind of asking you to pay attention to, like, if this is something you love. Because this category isn't about money necessarily, right? We've got money connected to it. But really, this is about wands energy. What lights you up? What makes you happy? You've got the champagne bottle. This can be something you're celebrating, a party or something like that. You could be at an event where... Uh, you know, there's like drinks being served or something like that. I, I don't know. But yeah, you know, this is usually connected to celebration or something that we're celebrating, something we're like a party or something. It can also have to do with wedding. Okay, like a wedding or like a fancy event or something like that. You've got Scorpio. So there's strong Scorpio energy in this category. I think you're feeling very intensely about something, but there is that sort of underlying feeling of competition that seems to be kind of sucking the fun out of the situation. It could be because there's money at stake here, but remember, this isn't landing in this category. This seems to be good because you've got doors opening and new ideas and chances you're taking, and this seems solid, but, but this is just your enjoyment, passion, adventure, excitement, fun things. So just remember why you're doing something. I think it likely is creative, and yes, there could be money connected to this, but you know, What's, I'm kind of getting to tell you what's at stake here. Is it really that all that important? If the answer is yes, I still think this is a situation you should walk away from because whatever or whoever this is, it, it feels like kind of a no-win situation. All right, so let's get you some letters. I hope you've enjoyed that portion of the reading. Seems like some exciting things going on. Some of this might make more sense as the next couple of weeks progress. Let's see what your numbers are a letter for oh one of them one in my sleeve i can feel it in my sleeve i think it already came out okay there we go okay so we've got t c o got the word as i'll just flip all of these over you've got a 13 as well So look in the comments, there's always really great suggestions. So be sure to look there. I don't always see a lot of things, but sometimes I do. What I'll do is I'll flip these upright so it's easier for you to see. <clears throat> and then I'll move my hands. And I'll see what I can see. I'll look at them for a minute. And yeah, start thinking of your yes or no question for the pendulum. You seem very much taking some creative risks or some risks with something that you feel is going to be worthwhile. I, I'm really getting creative risks, like doing something different. Okay. So pause the video if you want to look at this. All right. Let's see here. You could also, oh, this made me think of wine because I saw wine. You could be into making wine or something like that or into, like, you could be very passionate about uh, mixed drinks and, or something. You could be, like, a bartender or there's a connection to the home. So I feel like a lot of these things could have to do with the home. You could be spending money on the home that could bring in the fresh energy. You could be hosting a party, you know, for family, something like that. But, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Of course, if you're of age to drink. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot. Date, you could be going on a date. Love and relationships seemed fairly solid. 
a date, an ice cream date or something like that. So my roommate and one of my best friends since grade two wants to come on my channel and do like a date reading together. Meaning like she, she thinks of the most creative date ideas I have ever heard of. So I thought, I, I said, I'm like, do you want to come on my channel and like we can do a reading together? Because she also enjoys reading cards. I'm like, you can kind of like help us kind of think of some different date ideas or talk about like a love reading with dates or something like that. So if you are interested in having uh, her on the channel, let me know. Um, okay, let's see. I see talent. Do we have yet? talent? So yeah, I think you're very talented. I think you have a talent for decorating. This keeps coming up strongly. All right, so this could bring fresh energy in, uh, you know, redecorating your space. I think you have a talent for coming up with new ideas. Again, keep it simple right now. Don't overcomplicate it because that might keep you from actually doing it. Uh, but yeah, you seem to have a lot of talents. Your honestly, your charms were really great today. Your cards were were phenomenal. I, that five of swords, of course, isn't, but you know, not all of the cards are going to be positive, of course. But yeah, overall, I mean, you've got some pretty great cards. But I, I see you as very talented. I'm seeing. I'm gonna say secret, but I don't think we have a C here. Yeah, we do. Sometimes I see words, and then we don't have all of the. So secret, I think with the mask, with work and finances, there's something it's encouraging you to keep a secret right now, whether it's this idea, whether it's this door opening or opportunity, keep the details simple. You don't need to tell everyone everything right now is a strong message that's coming in until maybe things are more permanent. Okay. So secret, someone could be telling you a secret. You could just be more secretive. Uh, you could be doing some secret work. In regards to something, TV, um. you have a P, I was going to say unplug because you had your retreat message, you had this charm with wellness and self like about unplugging or escaping going on vacation if you can or just kind of getting out to nature essentially could literally be what that is nature could be really important right now so yeah i'll leave that there look in the comments let's look at your pendulum and think of a yes or no question pause the video if you want to think about it You got it for sure. So yeah, let me know what you think, group one. If you haven't already, consider liking and subscribing. All of that really does help my channel. Uh, I just used this exact combination of charm mixture on my Patreon. If you want to check that out, uh, I, I just filmed that, so that should be up by the time this is up. It, it'll actually definitely be up. So if you want to check that out, I'm actually going to probably leave that video open for anyone to watch. So if you want to just go check that out free of charge to watch it, um, I'll leave that linked below and you can sign up if you enjoy it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think, group one. I will see you next All right, time. group two, if you chose the lemon card, you went for the double lemon message, then this is your reading. We're going to use these four categories here, work, career, finances, wellness, and self, love and relationships, passion and adventure, and find out what fresh energy, what changes are coming in, uh, what you need to know essentially about these categories. So I did bring out the book. I thought we could kind of start with that. So let's read 25 and see what Sherilyn Darcy says about lemon. So the end of one phase and the beginning of another is indicated and brought forward by lemons. A change of an environment or situation and in your way of thinking is needed uh, and will help you proceed. Sorry, I'm just going to move the pendulum aside so it's not distracting. Okay, so although necessary, you can comfortably move forward gradually Oh, I like that. So sell or get rid of things you no longer need. As it is time for a physical clear out, old habits need to die. Now is a great time to do it and have it done for good. Okay, so this already, we've got a lot of information about fresh energy. 
what I'm being drawn to is sell or get rid of things you no longer need as it's time for a physical clear out. So that could be something you're really focused on that could bring fresh energy. You could be decluttering. You could be having a yard sale or using marketplace. You could be donating some items. I'm seeing you kind of go through your closet and go through old bins of things and boxes of things and possibly again making some money if you're doing something like a yard sale. But yeah, and it's also talking about new habits uh, and old habits going away. So that's really cool. And cha a change in environment or situation and in your way of thinking is needed and will help you proceed. So yeah, you seem to be freshening up a lot of things. Your environment, I'm seeing with lemon, you possibly, and even the keyword cleansing, doing lots of cleansing. So let's find out more about what's going on here. This is the lemon. So let's, I'm just going to kind of intuitively cast the charms uh, and we'll see what lands where. Group two. I kind of okay you got lots of info so busy couple of weeks here so what I'm doing basically is just kind of intuitively so this is here on this side there's some connections here so for example like this charm's connecting with this so there could be a connection there these ones here are, are all connecting so I'm just kind of kind of gently flip these over and kind of see you've got openness so you're being open with communication when it comes to both career and finances, at work and in your love and relationships. This is, seems to be affecting both. This is more in the love and relationships category. This is kind of right in the middle. Six of Swords. Yeah, this is really great for positive progress with both categories. Okay, the calculator's down here. Okay. Okay, so let's start up here with love, or pardon me, with career, relationships, and finances. Uh, this one is definitely more on this side. You've got courage. Eight of Cups was kind of in the middle too, so you could be making lots of changes that are both affecting your work and career, but also romantic relationships. Okay, wow. Tower, oh wow, look at this. You've got Tower Energy, Ten of wands and the hierophant with six of swords all in work career and finances okay so group two this truly is like a fresh start for you for sure you chose the lemon maybe intuitively you're feeling it or maybe consciously you're aware of it right you chose cleansing so there's a feeling of like out with the old in with the new and i'm really really seeing that here in work career and relationships now this because we have the tower we have to realize that this could be coming from you know, maybe you got fired from a job. Maybe you got laid off. Maybe uh, something happened that caused you to have to move cities. Maybe a relationship ended. Maybe there was a big situation at work. Uh, maybe a business closed. Maybe, you know, this is this is drastic change. But I will say, it seems to kind of be getting you out of a situation that I don't know you felt like was the right fit for you anyways. I think, and I'll have to kind of see more as we go along here but the hierophant's making me think of like a big industry or a big uh, uh some sort of like i'm imagining okay I, i'll tell you what i'm picturing i'm just imagining a big building and a place where you felt like you couldn't really express yourself a place where you felt like you really had to kind of fit in a place with like not that rules are a bad thing but i feel like with with work career and finances you felt like there was too much it was something was too rigid and I feel like it weighed heavy on you or you had a lot of work to do or you felt like a lot of responsibility with something okay and again I'm not saying rules or responsibility are a bad thing not at all but I feel like whatever this change is seems to be taking a little bit of the weight off of your shoulder and it seems to be creating a lot of improvement here okay uh so that could be what it is. And on the flip side, because these didn't really land in any particular order necessarily, just because like I didn't shuffle them like regular cards, this could even be saying that there's a major overhaul that is providing you with more structure uh, or releasing some burdens, some financial burdens or something like that. But either way, having the Six of Swords here is really telling you that there's some improvements happening. But I do feel like they're uncomfortable. I feel like you're going through a lot of drastic change when it comes to work, career, and finances. A lot of discomfort. The Ten of Wands could indicate debt that you're trying to pay off. That maybe you've had like a recent major overcall. Um, overcall. I meant to say wake up call, but I, I think subconsciously my 
somewhere I wanted to say overhaul. So you could be overhauling something like overhauling finances. Uh, this could be talking about banks or certain institutions with the Hierophants. So you could be consulting like a professional at a bank. Take it how it fits, right? But either way, it's encouraging. I love this, how, how you have courage here. So you're being courageous with certain things at work. And this is bringing in a fresh energy. Certain changes are happening and you're being courageous through it because I feel like you know you're making improvements. Okay, this could be talking about leaving a job that didn't have enough pay and you know, you had to start a new job or taking on an extra job or something like that. Remember, take it how it fits. These are general readings. I'm just kind of reading the energy. Um, you've got love connected to work and finances. So it's interesting that the Cupid didn't land here. It landed up here. So love and communication is connected to uh, career uh, as well for some reason. We'll find out more. This could be with a Capricorn. Okay, there could be a Capricorn at work that you have a crush on, for instance, or someone at work that has a crush on you. You've got the sun here. So again, this is uh, favorable. This is positivity. This can be in regards to clarity or confidence in a situation. Uh, so that's really good too. Something has, like, I think you also paid attention to some red flags or something when it comes to work. You paid attention to a red flag and you could have avoided getting you avoided some sort of catastrophe with work or you avoided something getting far more complex. Uh, some of you could be choosing to work from home or there could be a job involved with working from home. We have the house here. Interestingly, those, this charm has two meanings for me that also contradict each other. This, this charm is from Salem, so it also represents travel for me. It can represent like home away from home. It can represent people, places that feel very comfortable uh, and enjoyable to you. Uh, it can represent the home as well because there's a house here. So you've got the little signs here, success, money, and happiness in work, career, and finances. So you could be making a choice over the next few weeks. Happiness, like success and money, you could be deciding your happiness is more important than this success, you know, for example. So you could be kind of choosing your happiness with something over even possibly trying to fit in, in a situation or approval from others with a certain situation with the Hierophant. Uh, you could also be working in some sort of spiritual business of some kind or have like a connection to spirituality in your business or work and career. Uh, as the major arcana here that we have in work, these can both mean very different things. So the Hierophant, again, banks, schools, institutions, uh, you know, things like that, things that are like longstanding. OK, so schools, definitely. This could actually talk about education. Uh, work from home education or getting education at home that could provide some happiness uh, the tower in a work reading could could mean things about like a building like a new building being built or something like that maybe a building had to be torn down or something like that I, I don't know but yeah that could be what it is this could be working in a field with people that are dealing with with uh, emergencies or um, you know uh, working in a field where you're doing some sort of counseling for people or something like that so as careers, that's what both of these could mean, okay, because it's in this category. You've got lucky. So something lucky is happening to you, okay, or you've got luck on your side. So that's really good. Again, we've got Capricorn energy here as well. You've also got the lock and the heart. Hmm, this with the Cupid is making me think of secret crushes or someone's like keeping something locked up, okay? So maybe it's because you work with them and maybe work relationships aren't, you know, allowed where you work or something you know like that uh you know take it how it fits but there's some energy about a secret crush or someone locking up their feelings uh their attraction for sure to you or you to them you've got ticket to happiness so there's something that you are viewing as an opportunity or something that could make you really happy happiness is on the board twice in this category so happiness ticket to happiness so there could be like a big i, I almost said overhaul earlier but yeah there's drastic changes when it comes to this category but it does seem to be creating some improvements and taking some stress off uh, it could be like one job so that you can let go of some other side hustles that you've been doing or you know something like that that uh, could be coming up you've got Aries both in love and relationships and work and career too so this could be this the person that has a crush on you Lots of signs here in love and relationships. Let's move down here first and we'll, we'll go over here in just a second. Uh, you've got the calculator in love and relationships. So you're trying to make a calculated choice about something. You've also got eight, oh wow, king of swords and eight of cups. So yeah, love and relationships. You are 
possibly ending a relationship, okay? You're being, because you've got openness, communication, king of swords, you're being extremely honest and very to the point with somebody uh, over the next coming weeks when it comes to relationships, or it's encouraging you that honesty really is the best policy with this. Uh, the king of swords, while, you know, while they're very honest, they can be sometimes sharp in their delivery or less compassionate, Okay, it feels less compassionate, but actually sometimes being honest is the compassionate right thing to do, okay? So if you feel like you're leading someone on or maybe this is someone being very direct with you, possibly an Aries, uh, you know, this is an air sign, so it might be this Libra, but either way, uh, this also could be a Virgo. You're feeling like there's direct openness and lots of communication in romantic situation or love and relationships. Uh, this seems to be good though because you've got the devil here, okay? So this can talk about toxic situations, codependency. This can talk about uh, really unhealthy relationships or feeling like even obsessed with something or obsessed with a situation or a person. Something seems to be getting put on pause with the whistle or something is drawing your attention to what the problem is. You could be giving yourself time or giving a situation time. This could also represent time is up with a certain situation. So again, if this reading is making you nervous, if you're like, oh, I don't want to break up, this likely isn't for you, okay? Um, this seems actually more like a positive thing that seems to be getting you out of an unhealthy relationship. So if you're in a happy relationship and you have everyday normal relationship problems that can be worked through, communication and openness could be your message. But we do have the Eight of Cups. So this could be talking about ending a relationship or leaving someone in the past, possibly a, to a toxic ex or something like that. Uh, but there's definitely something about calculating honest kind of responses to things or a calculated approach to something. So you could be kind of trying to figure out what the best way to communicate something is with someone, okay? Let's move up here to wellness and self. So this category to me just represents yourself, taking care of yourself, things that are important to just you. You've got peace, okay? So you seem to be at peace with something. There's a sense of healing with the star. You're at peace with a certain situation. Um, finances are in this category as well, okay? So you've got the purse. You could be saving for something that is for yourself, self-care, possibly a pair of shoes. You've got the shoes here. I'm seeing you investing into yourself in the next coming weeks. So you're investing into yourself. You could be buying yourself something. This is strong nine of pentacles energy in this category. So you could be uh, saving up for something or it's encouraging you to save a little bit extra this month for yourself. Uh, maybe you find a really nice pair of shoes or a dress or something or an outfit, something like that. But yeah, you seem to be investing or saving for something for yourself. I'm also getting the phrase, pay yourself first. So if you've got a business, if you're self-employed, it's important to pay yourself as well. So when you're getting your paycheck, you're putting your money away for taxes, you're putting your money away for bills, expenses, but don't forget to pay yourself first. Put some money aside for yourself is just coming through. You've got the telephone. Could be important to your wellness or self to keep communication open. Somebody could also be communicating with you. Next to this one, I feel like somebody could be calling to communicate or clarify something that's been a bit of a dramatic situation with these two. Uh, this is like drama, performances, things like that. So somebody could be calling to clarify something and put a stop to some sort of dramatic situation that's been stressful. Unfortunately, this could be an ex. Hopefully that's a good news message for you. But yeah, there could be some uh, clarity or some communication in regards to a dramatic situation okay, that seems to be having an effect on you uh, It's being put to a stop, okay? You've got the anchor and the star. You've got two stars in the self category. This is about hope, healing, inspiration, dreams, direction. You've got something you're anchored to. You're anchored to a certain dream for yourself. So I think that's why you've got this treasure chest because I think this represents wishes and things you're saving for, things you're working towards. You've got the heart and the key. So you're being very protective of your heart, I think, okay? You're being very protective of your heart. Uh, I think you're setting boundaries with certain things over the month with the stop sign. Your priority seems to be you, which I think is a good thing in this category. You seem to be prioritizing yourself a little bit more, making more time for yourself, investing into yourself with the purse and the treasure chest. So that's beautiful. Finally, we've got passions and adventure. This is just exciting things, things you're passionate about, artistic endeavors, things like that. You've got, ooh, you've got the... Uh, this would be the wand. Okay, so yes, this makes sense. You've got the wand. So new creative ideas, okay, could be coming in. Passion and adventure, new exciting opportunities, something that kind of lights you up or feels very exciting to you. Let's see, you've got the hand kind of in 
love and relationships and passion and, and adventure. You've also got the arrow kind of right in the middle. Uh, the compass and the hand are touching. So your passion and adventure seems to be having an effect on the direction of a relationship or a relationship seems to be having a, uh, an effect on a passion and adventure, okay, because the hand is connected. Uh, the hand, too, could also... Oh, this is interesting because it's like these hands are almost like reaching out for each other here. This could have to do with an offer being made or an opportunity. This sometimes reminds me of the Ace of Pentacles, whereas this reminds me of having the Midas touch where everything you touch seems to be successful when it comes to something you're passionate about. So it's a good month or a good period of time to dive into things that you're passionate about. You're going to have successful results. You've got the sun here. So yeah, you're feeling very confident. I'm seeing a lot of confidence here. I'm seeing something. You've got luck twice on the board. But yeah, you've got... Um, yeah, a lot of luck on your side here. Something you're doing when it comes to your passions or your creativity it could be getting a lot of likes or a positive response on social media. Uh, this shell just landed in self, so this is making me think of inward focus. Uh, and also with the carousel here in Passion and Adventure, there could be uh, some sort of cycle or spiral you're sort of getting out of, something that's been habitual. You've got this charm here, which makes me think of the Ten of Wands, hard work. You're working hard on something you're passionate about. This is a little, I think of it as like a wind windmill or um, a uh, propeller of some kind. So something is moving along, something's getting propelled forward that you're passionate about. Your angels are connected or watching over something you're doing or even an adventure that you're taking. You could be traveling or something like that with the compass. You've also got this helmet here, which I think was originally here. But either way, it's about adventure and exploration. So there could be something you're doing that's very adventurous. Something, a place you're exploring or something new, a passion that you're exploring. So you've got like angelic guidance here. You've got the dog. The barking dog can talk about miscommunications or just communication in general. And you've got um, the carousel underneath it. So there's something about repetitive miscommunications when it comes to passion something you're very passionate about or is passionate about uh, communicating something I'm trying to make sense of this here because it's cycles patterns repetitive going in circles and then the dog communication it's the barking dog though so it can be miscommunications or just expression maybe you're expressing something you're trying to get out of some sort of pattern. You've got an eight here. So the eighth month, August could be important. Or the eighth day of whatever month you're watching this. Because this is a timeless reading. Could also be a Leo. Passion. You're working very hard. You've got the squirrel here. You're working very hard on something you're passionate about. This could also uh, get you out of some sort of pattern or cycle that you've been in. You're working very hard though. You seem very intense and motivated about this, like very passionate. You're coming up with really cool ideas as well with the uh, with the wand here. Yeah. You could be seeking out more information or more clarity in regards to something you're passionate about as well that's going to propel forward. So it could be why this communication is coming in or this hand reaching out for direction. You could be seeking out, because even this wand here. Wait, this is the candle. This is the candle. So either way, okay, this isn't the wand, this is the candle. But this actually makes more sense, because you've got the compass here. So guidance. So the candle has to do with direction and guidance and illumination. And it offers, like, enlightenment into something. So, yeah, it makes me think, like, candle, it's still wand energy, but there's another one of these. I'm just getting to know these. There's another one of these that is the one. So this is the candle. So this is really good with this compass because it's offering illumination. You're reaching out. I'm getting a strong message with these two hands touching of like reaching out for direction when it comes to passion or adventure. Embracing something. You're feeling really confident with something that you're passionate about or something that you're really good at. And this is giving you direction. You're getting a lot of encouragement too with likes. Like you could be getting a lot of likes on social media in regards to something. Not that that's everything, but it is encouraging with something, especially if you're in a creative field. So very cool. Let's get you some letters and then we'll do the pendulum. But that's what I'm getting. Let me know if you like this. If you do, definitely consider liking and subscribing. You can also check out my Patreon. If you enjoyed the combination of charms today, I just did a reading with these exact, uh, exact items. <laughs> Let's look at your letters.
Okay. You got the words held, to, now, kiss, and when. So kiss is kind of interesting with that work relationship I was noticing. And it doesn't have to be a work relationship. It could be a relationship that is very connected to your career or a relationship that comes from some sort of career. You meet someone through your career or through a work event or something like that. It doesn't have to be like an office relationship necessarily, but okay. Okay, I see art. You could be very artistic or working on some sort of art. I see beehive. Do we have a V though? Sometimes I see things before checking. No, I don't think we have a V. Yeah, we do. Beehive. This could just represent uh, hard work, sweet results uh, to something. Uh, collaboration, teamwork, uh, protectiveness of something perhaps. I see the word hoax. So is something a hoax? Was something a scam or a hoax? I see. Here, let me give you a chance to look again here because I think I started moving them too soon. One time someone's like, don't touch the letters. <laughs> I don't know if that's how they said it, but that's how I read it. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay. So if you need to pause, pause the video here if you want to look at them, but I'm going to jump back in with these. Um, I've got a hat. You could be wearing... You could have different responsibilities coming up this month. Do we have a C itch? Hmm. Bird? No D. <laughs> Bath. <laughs> Boat. I like that with your Six of Swords in the work category. So something... Like, I do think a situation's improving or getting easier. Like, this tower seems to have happened. It seems to have uplifted a lot or changed a lot. It caused drastic change, but it seems to have almost, like, set you free in a certain way. It's, it's needed a lot of courage, though, with your courage in that category. Um, so let me know what you see from this. Yeah, it seems like a lot of out with the old, in with the new for you. Again, you could be cleansing your home or getting rid of certain things, having a yard sale or selling some things. Uh, you seem like even in your charms, like even in your charms, there's something about like an old relationship finally ending, like finally moving on from uh, a toxic workplace environment or a relationship, uh, you know, fully like diving into something that you really want to do perhaps. So there's definitely a feeling of like a completely new start uh, in your I reading too. I realized I forgot your pendulum. So I'm going to insert it now. I'm just editing and realized that I forgot it. So here we go. Uh, think of your yes or no question. Pause if you need more time. Think of a question related to today's reading or to fresh energy. You've got it for sure. So let me know what you think, group two. Did you enjoy this little reading? Uh, we focused on charms today, so it was a little bit different. But yeah, if you liked this, definitely let me know by commenting, subscribing. Uh, if you liked me or my reading, you can check out my Patreon as well. Share this with a friend too. That actually would really help my channel if you've got a friend or uh, some people that you know that would enjoy this. Definitely share it. And yeah, we will see you next well, time. Hello, group three. If you chose the energy group with orange, that orange and lemon combo, then this is your message. So I've been starting by reading each of the groups. So I think we'll start there and then we will cast the charms from your lemon. Where did I put it? Right here. Uh, onto the charm tray with these four categories. So we have work, career, and finances, wellness and self, love and relationships, passion and adventure. So those are the categories that we're looking to see what fresh energy is coming in, what changes are happening. So let's first start with, and by the way, thank you for liking and subscribing. All of that does help my channel. 
Let's see what Sherilyn Darcy says about this card and that'll kind of jump us into the reading. Okay, so adventure and rapid progress are indicated and it is specifically anchored to your true purpose and the direction you are currently taking. Oranges indicate that anything is possible, although you need to get that willpower working hard. There will be challenges, but you can overcome them and someone around you may need extra support at this time. Be wary of apathy, of losing interest too soon before giving something a chance, and of negativity. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is there's going to be progress, there's going to be adventure, but this with this is going to come like some ups and downs, okay? It says there will be challenges, but what's happening now, all of these changes, this energy that's gaining momentum is putting you or keeping you on track towards your your true purpose and the direction that you're wanting to take. And it talks about someone also in your life that might need some support. So we'll see if anything about that comes up, possibly in love and relationships. But it says as a cautionary message, be wary of apathy, of losing interest too soon before giving something a chance. So here's the thing, energy is going to pick up, you're going to feel possibly very motivated and energetic, but you could be like, oh, this isn't working. Or, oh, I'm losing interest in this very quickly. So it's just, it's really asking you to kind of stick with something. Give it an actual shot. Give it some time. Okay. Uh, and then of being too negative when it comes to this. Okay. When it comes to what's going on. Some uses for orange wealth, divination, love, luck, and willpower. So I, I do kind of feel like you're feeling a deep sense of willpower. So let's cast your charms from your lemon uh, and see what happens. So I'm kind of, this one isn't really shaking because it's quite full. I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake. There it goes. And I'm just going to kind of open it up and intuitively cast them. Okay, I'm going to make one adjustment because all of the cards stuck together. So I'm going to sprinkle them kind of like sprinkles here from very high up and see where they land. Okay. Because uh, they were kind of all landed, landed here in one big group. And I kind of wanted to see what word applied to different places. So let's see what we have here. We've got the moon with passion and adventure. You've got three of pentacles when it comes to relationships. Work and career. You've got inspiration and understanding. That's kind of cool. You also have in self and wellness. You've got light and tenderness as well as strength. And the queen of wands. Okay, very cool. You know, it's interesting. Your group felt like it had the most charms, but it actually, I think the other groups had the most like charms, which, which is fine because we're getting very like direct messages here. So this is actually a good thing. Let's look at work, career and finances. First of all, you've got a five here. So the fifth of the month that you're watching or the fifth month, depending on when you watch this, is there timeless readings? Um, the fifth of the following month could be important. So just keep that in mind. The five is important. You've got the... Uh, pot of gold or a bag of money here with work, career, and finances, inspiration, and understanding. You've got the hammer. You've got the little uh, star here. It's a bead. You've got messages of partnerships, relationships, friendships, and romance. There could be a connection to love and romance and career. We'll have to see. I'm kind of seeing that here because you've got three of pentacles in the love and relationships category. So that's kind of cool too. All right, you've got the sunflower and the clock. Okay. Hmm. So with understanding, how did how did it phrase that? Because I feel like 28. All right. So here's the thing. With understanding, I feel like you know what you have to do, but you realize now, or you're understanding now with the hammer that it's going to take persistence and consistency. It's going to take like a lot of focus. So I, I'm seeing you very focused and feeling very inspired when it comes to work, career, and finances. So if it's just finances, it could be you're inspired to uh, make some sort of change to your finances or you're inspired to do something with your finances understanding could represent that you're understanding your finances if this is more about a business or something creative it could mean that you're un you understand what you have to do or you understand a situation better you're learning about something you're understanding um, maybe something like okay the algorithm or how to run social media uh, if you're in social media of some kind if you are learning a new job you could be understanding more like kind of like um 
getting more comfortable with it because you're understanding the job tasks that you have to do, something like that. So understanding is, is a key word for when it comes to work, career, and finances. But I think what I'm what's coming through for me is you feel very inspired because you are understanding something. Something is making sense. Something is just clicking. And this too is creating rapid progress because it's like, okay, I'm starting to get this. So especially if you've started a new job or if you're starting a new job, give yourself some time to understand. Okay, give yourself some time to get into, uh, get comfortable essentially with something. Okay. Now, if you are in a creative field too, I see you feeling very inspired. Okay. You've got queen of wands energy with the, with the, uh, sunflower here. So you're feeling inspired. You're feeling creative. I do see you in the spotlight in a certain way, uh, when it comes to work, career and finances. So what I'm getting here is it's important not to be shy when it comes to work, career, and finances, but also love and relationships. And we'll get to that, okay? Because you've got three of pentacles. Just as a hint, this could indicate that you could meet someone because you've got these two, right? So you could meet someone through work, okay? Because this usually connects to love and this connects to work and both of these are connected. So it seems like there is something about a relationship or possibly a partnership. This typically is a little bit more romantic though, okay? So that's just one thing to consider. Someone just messaged me right as I was... Uh, talking. So there's something about a message coming through as well. Okay, I didn't get a chance to read it, so I don't know what it's about, but I just saw it. You've got time, so you could be understanding time management or working on time management, uh, making time for something that you feel more inspired to do. So if you work, you know, in a field that isn't creative, it could be saying it's important for you to make some time for things that inspire you. Okay, so that could be important. If you are in a creative field or you're hoping to get into a creative field of some kind, it's important to make time um, for this as well. Now, this is a really positive charm here, the pot of gold here. I don't think it's actually a pot. I think it's a little bag of money. But either way, uh, this is uh, abundance. This is abundance. This is reward. This is uh, comfort, okay? This is feeling, this could be a windfall coming in when it comes to finances or just a job where you feel like you can save a lot. This could also talk about understanding how to manage this money uh, that's coming in. But overall, work and career is looking good. Again, I'm seeing you working. I'm seeing you working very. Uh, I'm getting. I just got very diligently and very consistently at something. So when we talked about be wary of apathy of, of losing interest too soon, I think this is talking about something to do with work. Okay, because it's talking about consistency paying off. So stay consistent with something. Okay at work and this could like you could be gaining a better understanding of like what to do or understanding a uh, situation a little bit better so in wellness and self you've got strength light queen of wands i love the queen of wands here and the queen of wands here because this work career finances seems to be having a positive effect on your confidence okay so something could be giving you a bit of a confidence boost in yourself and Light is really interesting too because I feel like I'm getting that you're radiating, you're glowing uh, in the month ahead. You're, or something's illuminated for you possibly too, some sort of direction. That's why you're understanding something better. But yeah, light, to me this is about you glowing. You're doing something that you love so you're glowing, okay? You could be feeling uh, that if something is lighting you up, something is giving you a lot of inspiration as well. Strength, uh, because the, of the category that this is in, of course, I'm not, uh, I'm not a wellness professional of any kind, but you could be working on something like strength training or building your strength or something like that. Uh, you could be getting into exercise or something like that, whatever you're comfortable or whatever is safe for you to do. Uh, for me, that's walking and hiking. I love doing stuff like that. It builds strength and it makes me feel really good. So that could be what it is. You could just be feeling stronger in general, okay? Stronger in general in yourself, uh, stronger or more confident to show. I'm really getting it's important for you to, to shine, okay? To not dim your light. It's really important for you to shine. Tenderness, okay, tenderness. You could be being more tender with yourself or more, I guess, understanding, a little softer with yourself, a little less, like understanding and tenderness is making me think of being more understanding with yourself, a little less harsh with yourself, a little less self-critical, um, is I think really important. I think you're really recognizing your strengths in the coming weeks. You're really sort of seeing where you shine and what you shine at. You're understanding what is better suited to you, both with work and career, but also just in general, you're, the things that make you happy. You're very in tune with that. I'm seeing you dressing 
really confidently or doing things that make you feel really good. So I've been saying recently, for me, that's my eyelashes. That's the one thing I invest into myself. It's non-negotiable. I love my eyelashes. I put them on myself and I love them. Uh, It makes me feel good. I don't do it for anyone else other than myself. So that's really important to me. So something like that, it could be what you're wearing or, um, you know, the queen of wands to me is always about, is oftentimes about like those things we do uh, for ourselves that just boost our confidence and make us feel like our best selves. I'm really seeing that a lot here. You could be giving up pop or carbonated beverages if you feel called to do that with the soda here, okay? So maybe you've been trying to give up, you know, soda for whatever reason, because it's in this category, I just want to mention it. Uh, you know, do what makes you happy, but that could be something that's coming up. This could also be talking about bottling up of emotions, telling you it's important to not bottle up emotions or bottle up feelings, to not like let these things kind of build up. Got boxing gloves here. You could be joining like a kickboxing class if that's something you feel you want to do, or you could be, uh, again, strength training, doing something that's building strength, something to do with strength. Um, This could also be about protection. Um, There's a feeling here of like, expressing yourself or expressing like yeah something about expressing yourself the boxing gloves is usually more combative though so it could be like resolution conflict resolution you've got a 12 here so the 12 twice actually you've got 12 12 let's read 12 from the angel book just to pause here because that number seems important to you support. When you take the next step, you are not alone. Life has sent you new opportunities and now is the time to embrace them with the faith that you will be supported. The things that come your way are for your highest good. Reflect on how you've been helped by unseen forces in your life. Sit in the profound realization of how support comes in many forms. So that's interesting. You seem to be getting support with something when it comes to this category, some sort of help. Uh, You've got the teddy bear here. So this can be about comfort as well and support, friendship. You've got seven. Okay, so seven could also be important. The seventh of a certain month, the seventh of December or the seventh of uh, July, or the 12th of July or something like that. Okay, so these dates or numbers could be important for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, you seem to have lots of support. You've got the person on the horse. Uh, this could be horseback riding, could be important to you. Take what resonates. I'm just kind of reading everything here. Um, you know, for example, like buying yourself a, a plushie could be important to wellness and self or something like that. Comforting, getting lots of hugs or, um, you know, connecting with someone that you like to hug or cuddle with, okay, could be important for your wellness. But yeah, this is about uh, something, I'm really feeling like something's taking off when it comes to your creativity, possibly a business because there's lots of connections. So like, I like to connect. So we've got the sunflower, the sunflowers. So I feel like work and career could have to do with yourself. Uh, your self-esteem or your self-confidence in the month ahead okay and then we have this connection with this connection so these two categories are connecting as well so let's move here we've got a tantalizing prospect will, will come your way when it comes to love and relationships so because you've got the message in a bottle and truth someone could be revealing some sort of truth or message to you this could be someone that you work with or there could be a connection to love and relationships and work this could simply be a feeling of teamwork when it comes to work, making new connections. This is also a great card for solving problems and coming up. Oh my goodness gracious. Sorry. Sorry. I just hit the camera. But yeah, this could also be a great indication of solving problems, coming up with new solutions. You could be rebuilding a certain relationship or working on a relationship. Uh, This could also be talking about working on communication in a relationship, okay? So for you in a romantic relationship right now, the main priority could be, or the thing that's bringing in fresh energy, could be working on communication specifically, okay? With these three, you could be gaining a new perspective in regards to a situation with a person. But I think this is about building specifically, uh, possibly building new connections, new relationships, Okay, so I think your work relationships seem highlighted. Seem highlighted. You could be working with a really great team or getting to know your coworkers, getting great feedback. I'm seeing people really want to work with you and be around you, especially if you're in business. People seem to be gravitated towards you. Uh, specifically right now, people seem very inspired by you as well. You seem very inspired. So because of that, you seem to be inspiring other people. People want to hear what you have to say. People want to hear what you're working on. They want to tell you what they're working on. They want to talk about things. Um, kind of, you know, pass ideas back and forth. Uh, They seem to be watching what you're doing or watching what you're building as well. This can also be a card of learning from other people or building your skills, working on your skills. 
love and relationships seem to be the focus or your your with this uh can be about clarity you can have some clarity in regards to uh, a love situation or relationships because of this truth someone could again reveal a truth to you that helps you see a situation differently or look at a situation or a person differently and then you can get really specific with this the person you're interested in or the person who's interested in you could have glasses okay that could be a big clue as to who this is you could have glasses. This person could think your glasses look really cute because it's love and relationships. Um, you know, they could be honest, like, hey, those new glasses, you look super cute, something like that. So have fun with these readings, right? But a tantalizing prospect will come your way. So it feels like somebody new could be coming your way, a new romantic prospect, <laughs> um, the way it was phrased there. Uh, you could be being very honest in regards to a love situation as well. I'm getting kind of like confession of feelings here with this truth here. So very cool. Relationships looks good, uh, both professionally and romantically. Things seem good. You could have a, a clarity also in regards to your feelings for someone. You could be admitting a truth to yourself or see something very clearly. Let's move into passion and adventure because this is looking excited. Oh, this is looking really exciting here. So I just heard what I thought was a barking dog, but I don't think it was. That was interesting. But you've got the chariot or the car. I'm going to get specific first about this just because of this category it could be quite specific you could be passionate about cars you could be buying a new car we've got the mermaid here as well mermaid can talk about listening to your intuition i definitely think that is um, fitting here with the moon so you could be very in tune with your emotions and your intuition very in very in tune with what's hidden what's not obvious you're tapped into your intuition uh, and your emotions as well. You're very emotional when it comes to certain things that you're passionate about. You're you're emotionally connected to the idea of adventure. You're seeking new adventures. This is something that's important to you. Uh, you're facing certain fears, I think, when it comes to this category as well. Things you're passionate about, about expressing yourself, about shining your light, uh, possibly exploring hidden passions. Okay, With the moon, you're exploring some hidden passions or a desire for a hidden adventure, maybe a love adventure or something like that. You've got the word will here as well, so that makes me think you will do something. You will face a fear. You will have an adventure. You will explore a passion. But yeah, the idea of hidden passion is really coming up here. There's something kind of seductive about you over the next little while. You seem to be like drawing people in like a magnet like there's something about you that just pulls people in your confidence or your abilities or something you're doing you're very I think you're uh, focused on and again take what resonates but beauty the idea of beauty what makes you feel beautiful right though so it's very individual what makes you feel beautiful but yeah I like this there's new hope for projects you'd almost given up on but something connected to your passion so maybe a collection or maybe something you're building or working on that you get this new sort of sense of direction or motivation with okay with the coffee you've got this new burst of energy because you see okay you know what this is what I have to do this is what I have to do with that so that's really really cool so I want to do your letters and then I will get this uploaded for you and I can't wait to hear what you think. If you enjoy me or my channel, definitely check out my Patreon. I actually just uploaded a reading using the same combination of charms. If you want to check that out, that's uploaded now. Um, but yeah, let's get your letters. And liking and subscribing also helps. If you have someone or some people you'd like to share this video with, that would definitely help me out as well. Okay, you've got felt and good. So something felt good. You'll feel good. I'm getting a compliment is going to feel good. A compliment you're getting. I do think you're getting complimented by a, on something, either a gift, a passion, uh, the way you're dressing, uh, your appearance or something like that. You're getting some sort of compliment that's giving you a nice little boost. Okay, so I'm going to flip these upright so you can see what we have to work with here. Then I'll move my hands. We're going to do the pendulum as well, so don't let me forget that. But I'll let you look at this first, and then we will see what I can see. I've got a 13 here. The 13th could be important as well. I think you had, yeah, you had two 12s, which is interesting. There. Let's see what we can see there. I'm seeing strength, which is interesting because you had strength in the... Uh, in your charms so it doesn't even I mean I focused a little bit because it was in the wellness category I was thinking maybe physical strength maybe you're doing things like walking or something like that um, or like some sort of physical activity but it could also just be emotional strength I think you're building some strength strength in yourself strength in your abilities so take what resonates let's see 
I'm seeing star. You're a star. You had a star on your charm tray there in the work and finances. We could also talk about improving situations when it comes to work and finances. I'm seeing some of you are a makeup artist. Do we have an M? That just came through before I even looked to see if we had it. Artist, maybe. I'm <laughs> I was getting makeup artists, though. Interesting, we don't have an M, but that's what I was getting. So yeah, some of you could be a makeup artist. Siren, I was thinking of that with the mermaid siren. Um, I like the understanding uh, card as well, because you're understanding something. You're understanding about work and career or something. You have a better understanding of something. Again, you could be learning new skills if you're starting a new job or something like that. Test. Tease. House. Sometimes I see things we don't have all the letters. I don't know if we have all the letters for house. Yeah, we do. House. Rust. Rest. <laughs> do the pendulum next. But yeah, if you want to pause and keep looking... You definitely can. I see healthy. You could be making some healthy changes for yourself. This energy, like I know for me, again, take what resonates. Like I know everyone's situation and physical, um, you know, comfort with physical activities is different and, you know, everyone's different. Okay. So that's the thing. This is a general reading, but I don't know where that card went, your energy card, but yeah, maybe, um, you're making a certain, maybe you're making certain healthy decisions that are, um, you know, giving you energy because you chose the orange card. So maybe you're getting energy from certain healthy decisions uh, that you're making for yourself. You know, I, I gave the example of giving up pop. Not that I think you need to if you don't want to. I'm just saying like it came up in your health and wellness category. So maybe that's something you're focused on. It's like, okay, I've been drinking lots of, for me, it's Diet Coke. I could drink Diet Coke every day, all day. Uh, you know, so I'm like, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to swap this Diet Coke this time for water. I literally just did that the other, other day. I'm like, I don't think I've had water in like a week. I think I'm going to have a water. <laughs> so, you know, that could be something that's coming up. Um, you know, take, take it how it resonates. These are fun readings. Okay, so let's do your pendulum. You can think of a yes or no question. Pause the video if you need some more time to think of that question. Yeah, I'm seeing you feeling energized, getting lots of fresh air outside with the sun, all that sun, flower, sun energy. Yes, you've got a yes. I think the Queen of Wands, you've got lots of social energy too, I want to mention, because you had your Three of Pentacles, your Queen of Wands. I think now is not a time to kind of hide. Now is a time to shine your light, shine bright, uh, get out there, socialize, um, you know, be inspired, make connections. Yeah, I think this is a good a good month for you. But yeah, definitely a feeling of like shining brightly. So let me know what you think, Group 3. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, you can hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.